Hello again. Welcome to another episode, Profound. How are you doing out there today? <coughs> today Sunday. Yes, yes. Um, really happy again. Welcome to another episode, Profound. I am your host, Eska Swift. I um, I have a continuation of my last podcast um, from last week. Um, time time was of the essence, so <clears throat> I couldn't get to to um, inject the NHT topic in Jamaica and the difficulty that young people having, the difficulties young people facing to meet the needs of um, NHT and to add, you know, everybody want to live somewhere. That's just a natural fact. So, yes. So today we want to discuss um, NHT, um, the 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 job opportunities in Jamaica. And we want to discuss a little bit about the light bill after such um, drastic unemployment based on the coronavirus in Jamaica. Real quick. All right. So first and foremost, let me big up all of the fathers them. Happy Father's Day. Yes, me have to just big up like all of the fathers them. Um, funny enough, this is so funny, but... I have to big up all of the fathers them, included the fathers who don't play a fatherly role. And the reason why? Because at least they have bring forth a life or they are contrib- they contributed to in to to, to, be, to to bring forth life on the earth. You understand? So sadly, probably a, quite a few people won't agree with me, but you have to big up all fathers. Okay? Now Big them up, not in the way of being a good father. But you have to just face reality. A woman alone cannot cons- um, bring forth a child, right? That's not possible. So in, it is only fair enough you have to um, big up all fathers. But at the same time, I think fathers who don't take care of their child should go to prison. That is what I think. That is my opinion. I think fathers who actually get a girl pregnant, leave her, definitely. A fine should be there. Like a fine should should should, should put out on the table. So listen. Once a man is employed, he's getting an income by any source, and he refused to take care of his child, he should go to prison. Yes. Um another thing I have to big up a special respect. To the fathers who um, play the role of a father, regardless he and his girlfriend or wife are no longer in a relationship. I have to give a special big up to that father. Let me explain to you why. It is only logical for a man having... A relationship with a woman get her pregnant and take care of his child because they are sleeping together right they are cooking together they are spending money together always be the woman or the the woman is the breadwinner always be the female or the breadwinner so it's all obvious but what about the fathers who he and that mother of that child cannot take tea at no point they're always at war they are no longer together they're divorced you know, drastic breakup, and regardless of that, that father is still there. That father never used the breakup of his wife, girlfriend, etc., to determine if he should still take care of his seed. So you have to, I have to give a special big up to the fathers out there who actually be a genuine father, even though the relationship between he and that mother is, has come to a, 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 a terminated situation. I have to big up fathers like that. Definitely. Alright. So, um, and of course, happy Father's Day to me as well. Yeah, last but not least. Happy Father's Day to me. You know. Um, yeah. Um, you see, having a child, for me having a child gives me a very... strict work ethics and discipline when it comes to to, 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 to to spending money, saving money. And I really, really love that. Um, I 
I before my child before my child was born I, I, I already planned out how I'm gonna go about handling my financial um lifestyle and you know in life you have to make plans even for the basic things. So yeah, it works for me. So you know thank God for that, thank God him you know him um him let me experience the, the ability of being a father. The experience of of maintaining that same mindset that I said I would be when I become a father. I really have a thank God for that. Because sometimes people change, you know. All human beings are subjected to change. People change. So thank God that I always, um, I never lost my way. Even when I go at that crossroad where there's so many roads and ups and downs, I've never lost my way as to where being a father is concerned. I always take care of my child. Anybody who knows this face, they can contest that yes, this youth, you know, play the role of a, of a, he's an epitome <laughs> of, of being a father. All right, so today, <clears throat> who want to talk about house and young people owning a home and what are the measurements can put into place? All right. Again, me, I go blame the government system, you know. I go blame the government system because tell you what, how can you, how can you run a country and you said, okay then, we have an institution called National Housing Trust. We have bank as well. But we have National Housing Trust and young people, all right, National Housing Trust only prepared for a certain class or pay grade of people. Andrew Wellness, I don't know how this is going to work, but something has to work. Well, I know how it has to work. I know how it should have worked. Andrew Wellness, you have to do something. You have to do something. The aim, one of the, one of the aim to make a country um, comfortable or the population living in that country comfortable is enable different class of people to access place like NHT I can tell you that because not only the man who go to college need a house not only the man who have a, who you know own a business need a house I have to think about the lower class people the mid class people right now I can tell you this if you are if if you recently get a job right now you're gonna have challenges to get a loan from NHD so you have to work a few years, probably two years you have to work to get some form of um, um, quali qualification to get you with NHD. Alright? And in the meantime, house, the price for houses in Jamaica is extremely ridiculous for low income people. I remember the Prime Minister come on TV and said we have some house issue not in Olaba. Um, so things is going on for Jamaica. We have houses issued in all over for for the for the for the low and mid class income, and I'm like, wow, this is great. No, when I heard the price for those house, twelve point five million dollar. Like seriously, twelve point five million dollar for low income houses. No man. So how much for the high for the for the mid class income? That will be twenty four million. Apparently. And for the upper class, you're looking at like um, 40 million, 60 million. That's why the country, that is one of the reasons why the country is so stagnant and, you know, everybody is just moving in a willy-nilly situation. You cannot have a country and for a person to get involved in owning a home, it will cost an arm and a leg that a fear. It is unjust. And it is very challenging, it's stressing, demotivating. You understand? Um, I remember I remember the, it was a saying that um job opportunities is in Jamaica and how many jobs the Prime Minister open up. I'm like I'm like, wow, alright then. But then again all of these jobs that I was told that are now open, right? What 
those jobs only goes to a certain community. Those jobs are only for a certain community because I am still seeing young men sitting on the corner um, on the hunt for job and I'm not saying that the Prime Minister or anybody should come to their gate and say here's an application, go to that institution and fill out. Write your name, get your TR in NIS and tell them say you are sent to work here. No, but I'm saying that. The level of qualification these jobs recommend, it's not... It's not feasible for persons in the ghetto who want to uplift their self or themselves. It's not, it's not feasible. So all of these jobs that I was told that, oh, we have job opportunity, we open doors for job. Those jobs don't go for the community of the ghetto. Those jobs go for persons who are already college graduates. Not saying college graduates not should, get, um, should not be employed. Because, I mean, for a person to, to, to get a tertiary education, he have a plan. He have a goal. Obviously, you have made sacrifices to achieve his degree. You have student loan more than likely. So I'm saying, of course, they should get job. Right? And it is only... I, I, I also will understand if they are the one who get the first preference. But I'm saying... We're talking about running the country on a stable platform. We're not talking about favoritism here. So until the day, system can put into place where prime minister can put, or the government can put, Measures into place where young people in the garrison can be employed at that high institution, right? Put some measures into place where they work there for a while and then they can be able to, to go back to a school, advance themselves. Give them like two years. This is how it works in the car. Some of us just need a chance. Some of us just need a chance. Some of us genuinely realize our mistake at a very... I would say late moment and you know it's very challenging so um I I would honestly um like you know pro provide measures into place innovate like wheel and come again the aim is to fix up Jamaica you know what I mean imagine if you said okay then you can employ um 250 um, persons who are not college graduates to an to a institution but you can only employ them for two years so within that two years persons have to go to art to get certified you know Jamaica would be such a beautiful place I can tell you that because a lot of these young men genuinely looking searching for jobs a lot of these young men they are genuinely searching for jobs but the truth is it's just challenging you know, and they are saying, oh, you have to have a, a skill and that. But sometimes we don't have the money to even have a skill. Sometimes we don't have that, that kind of leverage out there. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes some of us just, just lazy. Sometimes we're just lazy. Sometimes we think everything should come in our hand. But I'm saying, I am speaking for the majority. For people who I knew who definitely just need a start. They don't need to come to you and beg your money. They broke, they want money, but they not come beg you. Them just need a start. And I think everybody deserves to get a start. Everybody deserves a second chance in life. That's just my views as to where job concerned. But um for the for the for the cost of houses in Jamaica, it is ridiculous. Matalan would probably make a one bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Right? 13 million dollars. What? What? When I went to Ola and I look at that scheme. Houses, the price of houses. You know how much how much was it? Twelve point five million dollar. The maximum NHT is giving you is six point five. That's the maximum and conditions apply. All right. So if you start to contribute just since two thousand and eighteen, I am almost sure you won't be qualified for that. Probably do you won't even qualify at all. It's it's rough. It's challenging. It's challenging, man. Sincerely challenging, and these are the matters I would like to put into place, right? Because it's just not right, and it doesn't make sense. You're saying that, oh, um, let's build a better Jamaica, and you're not focusing on persons in the in the garrison. You're only focusing on persons who are college graduates and friends and families and friend, friend, friends. You understand? But to run a survey and see who are the persons committing all these crime persons in the garrison 
And I honestly against crime and violence. Total. Like there's no if or but. But I honestly think if the country were on a on a platform where everybody can get a chance to get a slice of the cake, I don't think so many crime and violence would be going around. I don't think so many ignorant and uneducated people would be walking around. Because when a person hungry and the money in him, him life miserably, you know, him angry, you know. The least if you step on him too, him cuss you for now till tomorrow. And it's just a way of he releasing stress or she releasing stress and, you know, just rejuvenate by that little moment he have. And then his action can lead to something way more drastic, you know. So not all persons can hold it. Not all persons are so conscious to the point where they can say, okay, then, you know, not now go on, but may have hope. No, no, not all of us. Not all of us. Example, all right. As we all aware, the JPS, the, the, the corona, locked down Jamaica for like two months, right? Two months plus, even now things are slowly um, regain, regaining. All right. Um, persons are not working. All right? Persons are not working. Persons getting laid off. And for the past two months, I heard person complaining about their light bill. Well, we say so we are trying to build a better Jamaica, you know. No. This is common sense. Persons are not employed. Persons are not getting a pay. Person get $10,000 from JPS in last month as stimulus check, right? And for, 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 for this month now, your light bill come triple times the price. I saw for Powell complain about that. Dance hall artist Popcorn complain about the light bill. Challenging. So explain to me now. What are you saying? Because I am an electrician. I am a certified electrician. So let me just put a foot in your shoes. What you are saying is that persons are home all day, all night. So they are using up more electricity. Okay? So what you are saying is that now you are going to um, generalize that everybody in Jamaica living into an extended family household. So obviously their light bill should come triple times. That is robbery. Second of all, you, you guys install a meter on everybody house. Everybody who legally connected to JPS have a meter. That's no if, but, or maybe. No. That meter is to determine how much energy that household has been used for the month. Right? So if you want to tell me that you have a meter that can determine how much light bill or how much energy, electricity, one household use. Why you just triple up the light bill all of a sudden? Are you saying that every person light bill triple up? Robbery. Who can defend us? Nobody. Nobody. I was told that the OUR is going to run a survey on that. I'm almost sure you, you guys just going to pay off the OUR and leave it right there. This is Jamaica. This is how Jamaica work. Everything is all about money. Big lump sum of money, you pay up some money and everything okay. That's how Jamaica work. So if you have a if you have a good lawyer and you have your money, you almost can kill people at, at, at Jamaica and walk scot free. Because a money talk, a data cramp up Jamaica. So when you know come at Pan TV at about let's build a better Jamaica or oh, at time. Foolishness. Because you as the government doing the same um erroneous action, you are the same government who making work become deficiency. You are the same set of government who um, agree to these high established company um, have favored in, in employing um, persons. You are the same government who I'm sure allowing even JPS to rob in us right now. So that means that we can destroy all meters on our house then. Of course we can destroy all meters on our house. So it is only obvious these meters are just to prove to the OUR that this is what you JPS use to calculate our bill. But the truth is, you're just giving us some underestimated, you just underestimate some bill and give us. You just estimate some bill and say, okay, the house I won $3,000 last month, so I'm going to put $4,000 upon it this month. I'm going to put $5,000 upon it this month. That is madness. I am overseas, my mom and dad live together. Right? And my mom light bill used to come to like um 
$4,500. You know how much that light bill gone to now? $8,000. So let me guess now. Mommy and daddy buy AC overnight. Mommy and daddy start on a laundromat overnight. So that's why the light bill comes out high. This is why Jamaica is where it is and these are the basic things you guys are ignoring. This is why the country is running so easy to awful manner. Instead of when the corona ease up, you would decrease the bill. Right? So persons can balance on their feet and then eventually you take it back. As the corona broke off, people, some people haven't even getting going back to work as it. Are you going to triple up light bill? How can you raise a bill from $5,000? Right? With an additional of $8,000. Yes. Per students are doing schoolwork from home. What are the device students are using to, to, to do their, their Zoom classes? Laptops. Laptops. Are you saying laptop burn that amount of energy? Are you saying every household have a laptop? Are you saying every household have an AC? Every household have kids that need to keep in touch with schooling online? That's madness. And it's just, it's just a break you know, where you JPS, you look at it so easy to rob us. So what happened now is that oh, you are seeing it from a distance. Person can't take it anymore. Asafa Powell feel the wrath of it. And Asafa Powell is not a person of having issues with paying his bills. And if him a ball out, do the match on the, on the man with, with, where barely get an income, and just farming him do. And the whole market locked down based on the corona. This is why Jamaica is going down. This is why Jamaica is going down. Jamaica, Jamaica just need a loophole to rob us. Jamaica security force, the government system, then just need a loophole if you can rob poor people. That's it. And that is the reason why I said no JLP or PNP cannot correct Jamaica right now. None of you. None of you can correct Jamaica because you guys have put Jamaica on a part now where it's a, it's a very speeding car driving. And for probably eight years, what you do you jump in that car, you change gear, and you just keep speeding. Um, the next party going power, driving that car, continuous keep speeding. That car cannot be slowed down. It cannot be slowed down because the money that should pump in that car brake system to slow it down, you guys pocket that money. You, government and prime ministers, you pocket that money. You pocket that money and the car just keep driving, driving, driving. This is where Jamaica is going. Jamaica is a murder capital. What you saying? People just born and go to school and said in the future they want to have gun to walk and shoot and kill people. That's what you're saying? You guys cannot control Jamaica anymore. Because all you do are come in, dip, fill up your pocket and you move. Persons are in politics 70 78 years of age. Why on God's earth are you in politics for so, for so much years? And you're going to say that the lower income persons, they, they have to resign at what? Um, 50, 60 year old? So how you are at the age of 70, 78, and you are still working. So what I'm talking about? This is Jamaican government system. It's mad bullshit. Bullshit. And this is why this country will, that country will never get better. Jamaica needs somebody who already have money. So when he come to run Jamaica, his aim is not to pocket money. His aim is not to take whatever. His aim is to fix Jamaica. So what he going to do now, he going to start to invest in security force, young people, the younger generation, um, educational institution, all these places he's going to invest in. So these can minimize the crime and violence. Because ghetto youth won't work. I can't tell you that. Most get to you twice around there, we want to work. We want to buy with markets too. With the fat rims and money. We want to buy with clocks. We want to go to NHC and take out to look at house and live comfortable. But the opportunity now, that not in place for ghetto people. That in place for who the government know. And the government, family and friends. And the persons them who can make two phone calls, pay some money and say, yo, beg your link, me and look a job. 
and him pay you some money and that's how you work. This is my opinion. This is what I observe with Jamaica system. Jamaica system is crash. Crash. I remember a person saying Jamaica is not the murder capital and I keep on telling you the, the, the overall population of Jamaica is 2.7 million and for the year at least 1.5 million people has been murdered. Jamaica is a murder capital. This is nothing to feel proud of. And it's the, it, it makes no sense to go and get angry and say, Oh, oh you feel that about good, good Jamaica. Jamaica is good. Jamaica is the problem. And the, and the government system. It's challenging. It's challenging. Look at the security force. The other day, I saw a soldier stand up and stand up and a man lying down on his belly and she put her foot. He's a, he's a female soldier. Put her foot on the youth ground. So we are copying the wrong things from the US. We are watching news and we see a man have him neck in a judge. We have a man see. We are watching news in. We, are, we watch the international news and we have saw a police have his neck into Judge Floyd's neck. So we Jamaican have said, oh, and if we can do it too. It's the first I have ever seen security forces put a man on his belly and stand up on him. Put one of your foot on him. Jamaican copy the wrong thing from US. The wrong thing we copy. Indicums have to actually put it up, draft it up, and looking into the procedure. How can you have your foot on a man while the man lay down on the ground? What is happening? But again, I forgot. Okay. I was J A M A I C A. We always follow the wrong things. We always follow the things of, of, of a social um, essence. We're not trying to figure um you know get to the root of things fix up things put things into place so it's always going to be a problem um i i honestly believe that as soon as job opportunity can erect from the prime minister which goes out for people who are not of that high educational level, I am almost sure crime and violence would ease up. I saw the counselor in Trelawney. I beat a man. That man could be that counselor grandfather. Beat the man. Take out him thing and I beat the man. And the man is have no threat of that police. Or that counselor. No threat. No threat. How can you be a counselor? For a particular community, and you are mashing up a man cat, and I beat the man, and your life not, is not threatened. Your life is not at risk. You tell the man to move the cat, the man I move the cat, and I beat the man. Citizen of you say, "Oi, load the man, no man." What Jamaica is coming to, and nothing will come out of that because guess what? Them have them money, and them have them friends in the high places. Evil, evil. And then them come on TV and say, oh, we love Jamaica. Jamaica is not. Jamaica land we love is not determined by the person living in Cherry Garden, Hope Garden, Narbrook. Alright? Because these persons already probably have dual citizenship. These persons already, these persons whom and their address already speak for themselves. So they cannot determine Jamaica. Is the people in the garrison and the farmer are we determine Jamaica? So until you, the government, start to shed some light on these people, you will realize that okay, this was the problem. They were lacking of opportunity. Farm workers, government, government of Jamaica, give get it a chance to go up on the farm work program. Put a different measurement into place. Stop making it be so challenging for farm workers to fly out. Help out. Help. Help you get up. I am promise you this. Another thing before. One last thing. Don't wait until election day before you guys come in and say, Hey, what old, how old are you? 18. Okay. You need to come and vote because we're going to do this. And if I come into power. Educate children about politics from their young. Explain to kids why politics is very necessary. Explain to children why politics is necessary. Explain to you why, explain to kids why they should vote. 
the reason why they should vote and what they should look into when it comes down to voting. You understand? Give them a, 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 a brighter idea about voting. I believe in voting now. But these politicians, again, as I said, and this government, the only time they pop up like Jack in the Box is when election time. Them have campaign and them have one bag of done said around them. Notice every campaign, there's always some form of accident by the campaign. Do you notice? I remember at one point, a man, a man had chopped off in Holland Bamboo on a bus going on a campaign. So no police no longer driving and say, hey, if a man push out the middle of a vehicle, it is legal because campaign time. And it, it costs lives. You understand what I say? So educate people about politics from school. Educate people about politics from school days. Don't wait until them left high school and they go say, oh, all right, come now. May I look some voters so yo, this is why you have voting. You, know? you understand what I say? Councillors refuse to sign um, documents for persons living in the community because they have never voted. They have never voted for them. Their name is not on the voters list. So they, they, they don't sign it. Explain to me how Jamaica should be a better place. What kind of fear tell you live in a Jamaica need a makeover. The Chinese system a takeover. You can tell that. Run a survey and you see for yourself. How do you think the Chinese system come into play? Money. Why do you think the Chinese man can employ me and me work for 16 hours a day and me get minimum wage? Money. They already pay off the government and say, yo, this is a few. So go down go to one corner. Go buy your mansion up so. Me use it, don't set them. So the, popula the population cannot grow. We cannot get our income to a point. You see, until the day, you see, until the day, persons have to have at least five CXC to get a work in China. Look if Jamaica now na go better. Because that go only obvious that China have to pay persons accordingly. But anybody can get a work in a Chinese shop. Because you get less than minimum wage. Sad. We could pray for Jamaica. Again, Jamaica need a makeover. The China a takeover. Welcome to another episode of Profound. Thanks for watching. You know, I hope you find my 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 speech in, inspiring. I sincerely hope that um you know you 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 will feel feel free to subscribe. I hope I can reach out to, to, to the younger generation. I hope you can understand. Um I definitely open for a better Jamaica. Like I'm genuinely genuinely saying that I am overseas now, but Jamaica my born land, but hey. Where the opportunity lies, we have to go there. You know? So, again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers, them including myself. And, you know, big up my daughter, Daniela Therese Wilson. Then, you know, Daddy love you always. Daddy, I'll always be here for you. Daddy's here to steer you and teach you how to process issues. So, thanks for watching again.